There's some good news for the Oxbow School of Arts and Artists Resi Residency Program. They just received a $50,000 grant from the National Endowment for the Arts. This is the 11th grant designated to Oxbow by the NEA, and it's to date the largest grant they've received from the institution. The money is going to go towards long form project that fosters lectures, workshops, and more to visiting artists and other participants. If you want to learn more about it, you can go to ox bow.org. Right. Monday, words. I know, yeah, words are hard. Right. Well, literacy, Todd, <laughs> is the foundation for learning. Thank you. <laughs> the Kent District Library, thanks for that segue. Yeah. They want to recognize those who are impacting our community. Nominations now open for the third annual Literacy Champion Award for Outstanding Leadership and Advocacy of Literacy. The award will go to one organization and one individual, lead, they're leaders in the advancement of reading. You think teachers, tutors, librarians, authors, schools, nonprofits, businesses, and government entities. The deadline to nominate is June 17th. A KDL panel will review them, and the winners will be announced June 22nd. You want to submit somebody? Head to kdl.org slash literacy champion. And Michigan's adventure. So I fun. love the Michigan's. I got the jingle in my oh head now. Oh, boy. For the price of one. Hey, you got <laughs> It's opening up this Friday, Memorial Day weekend. U.S. military members and veterans get free admission when they present their military ID at the park entrance. Now, the amusement park says their friends and family can also grab tickets for half off. Military Days runs Friday through Monday and soon after Wild Water Adventure Park. The water park, that's mm. going to open for the season on June 8th. You want tickets, you want those deals, just go to miadventure.com. Now, it is only May, um, but yeah, we're like halfway through the year. That's kind of scary. The Grand Rapids downtown market already thinking ahead to the holiday season. Organizers say the popular Chris Kindle market will return November 15th through December 23rd. Last year's event drew gigantic crowds, especially for that, you know, stinky cheese, yep. the raclette. About 240,000 people visited the market. Um, now, this year, organizers hoping to continue to grow the event with even more vendors, bringing the total to 60-plus booths in the German-style beverage hall, traditional Christmas market fair, homemade gifts, commemorative mugs and steins of limited-edition beer by Brewery Vivant, all expected to make a return. Good. That's a good time. Plus all of the other things. Yeah, I took the family last uh, holiday season, and boy, oh boy, was that a good double oh, that stinky cheese, though. Man, we kept trying to go. I tried to go like four times, but there were so many people there that I, you I, was, not, I was like, peace out. You're not going to miss, uh, well, don't miss out on this. On I've the had the stinky cheese yeah, the uh, in side. lots of forms, so yeah. Speaking of putting some uh, stuff in your, in your gut, the, uh, oh, God. the dogs have been digested. Hopefully, oh, and hopefully they stayed down. Thanks for painting uh, that picture. The results me. are in. Well, I think we all kind of think it, don't we? The Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest qualifier happened at LMCU Ballpark on May 11th. And here are your winners. Female qualifying winner, Cherish Brown, scarfed down eight, Ooh. eight Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs and Buns. The male winner put 22 of them down there. Holy cow. Holy cow, that's a lot. Yeah. Now, the elite, these latest qualifiers are going to be included in the annual 4th of July International Hot Dog Eating Contest. We know when it happens, 4th yeah. of July, Coney Island in New York. Good luck to them. West, Rep West Michigan represents. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Right? <laughs>